Of the Great War of the Ring, many songs have been sung and many tales told. The names of heroes like Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn the King, and Frodo the Ringbearer are greatly revered, and rightly so. Yet Sauron's grasp stretched much further than the lands of Gondor and Rohan alone. And his forces might have done great evil in the north of Middle-earth, had a handful of heroes not stood in his path. Their stories, too, deserve to be told. Pay heed now to one such tale, which begins here in the town of Bree, just a few short days before Frodo arrived on his quest. Aragorn. Eredon. Well met. And in company with Andriel of Rivendell and Farin of Erebor. An unlikely trio to find walking through the doors of the Prancing Pony. You were at San Ford last I knew. Do you bear news from Harbalad? Yes. Grim news. I feared it would be so. Quickly, tell me what has happened, but keep your voices low. There are unfriendly ears, even here in Bree. Three days passed. The guard at Son Ford was attacked by nine black riders. Stand fast, Rangers! We were overwhelmed, and the enemy passed into the Shire. This is worse than I imagined. I know these riders. It is from Mordor they come. Our folk could not hope to stand against the nine together. How bad were our losses? Very bad. We tried to resist them, but they were surrounded by an aura of unnatural dread. There is more you should know. After the rout, one of the Black Riders met with an ally. A man of great malice and power. Agnawa. As our master commanded, I have stirred up the orcs of the mountains. Even now, I have a force gathering amid the ruins of old Fornost. Return at once and prepare your forces. We will have need of them soon. My orcs will be ready. These lands have known peace for too long. They will soon feel the Dark Lord's wrath. If this Agandau has a force at Fornost, then our position grows all the more desperate. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much. There is a hobbit of the Shire who should be coming this way with a great burden. If it falls into the hands of the enemy, it will mean doom for us all. Now this hobbit is adrift on the road with enemies all around. I must find him before they do. And I need you to help me keep him safe. You are my chieftain. I will gladly do whatever you command. I, I'm a part of this now as well. Then we three are of one mind. How can we aid you? We must reduce the threat from the enemies gathered at Fornost. Travel there and do whatever you can to keep the enemy's eye turned towards you and away from the Shire. Perhaps we will have help in this task. Eladan and Elro here were in the north when last I heard. Any gathering of the enemy is certain to attract their attention. Good. You can find no better allies than the sons of Elrond half elven I hope we meet. But with or without help, the enemy will be kept busy. We'll make sure of that. I have a few questions, if I may, Aragorn. Shh. Here in Bree, there is no Aragorn, only Strider the Ranger. As you wish. But what will you do now? I will continue the search for the Hobbit I spoke of. 
I've already scoured the road between here and the Shire, but found no trace of him. I fear he may have left the road, perhaps to escape pursuit. My hope now is that he will make his way here to Bree, the only safe haven for many miles. But if he does not appear soon, I will take to the road again in search of him. Should the enemy at Fornos join in the hunt, well, you understand just how grim our chances will become. I need you to prevent that. Go to Fornost. Take the fight to them. We will do all we can. Farewell. You should be on your way to Fornost. The fate of Middle-earth may depend upon drawing the enemy's attention away from here. Why do you hide behind this false name? Strider is no fitting name for one of your proud lineage. The Dark Lord in Mordor would not be pleased to know that Isildur's heir still lives. The time is not right for Aragorn, son of Arathorn, to stand revealed to the world. For now, I am simply Strider. Goodbye and good fortune, Ara... Strider. You should be on your way to Fornost. The fate of Middle-earth may depend upon drawing the enemy's attention away from here. What of this man, Agandar, who met with the Black Riders? What do you make of him? Some servant of the Dark Lord, and by his name one to be feared. His presence in the North bodes ill for us all, but I'm glad you discovered it. At least now we are forewarned. His name, is it not Adinaic? Your suspicions are correct, Lawmaster. That name is from a language few now speak, the native tongue of the men of lost Numenor. Numenor? Then Agandar is one of the Dúnedain? No, not a Dúnedain, but in ages past we had common ancestors. While the forebearers of the Dúnedain rejected the lives of the Dark Lord, not all of the men of Numenor did so. Many were enticed by his promises of power. Their descendants serve him still. Many are great warriors and sorcerers, but they are consumed by darkness. You know them as the Black Numenorians. Their hatred for the Dúnedain is very great, and no less so for the Elves. This Agandaur may prove a foe as deadly as the Black Riders. Those creatures that attacked us at Sanford, those Black Riders, I have never seen anything like them before. What are they? Do you not know them? There are whispered tales and legends enough that tell of them. They are the Nine, the Ring Wraiths. Of all the servants of the enemy, they are the most feared. This Agandar, he was no Wraith. He seemed like a man, one filled with malice and dark power, but a man nonetheless. But what kind of man would serve the Dark Lord? Not all the Dark Lord's servants are wraiths and orcs. There have been and still are many men, warriors and kings that walk alive under the sun, and yet are under his sway, willing or unwilling. What can you tell me of Fornost? Fornost was once a great city, the capital of the Dúnedain kingdom of Arnor. It fell to the Witch King long ago. The men of Gondor and the Elves formed an alliance that drove the Witch King out, but Fornost was never rebuilt. The ruins remain a place of dread for many. The men of Bree call it Dead Man's Dyke and fear to go near. It is a perfect place for our enemies to gather in secret. So Agandar chose well, it seems. We will travel to Fornost and see what we can do to upset his plans. What have we here? A stranger in town. A stranger's just what I'm looking for. Interested in a little harmless pastime? It's time to make some money from it. What sort of pastime did you have in mind? Why, nothing more than a simple game of riddles is all. I love a good game of riddles. But everyone in town has already heard all I know. I reckon I could stump you, though. 
My folk enjoy riddles as well, but I have never heard of money changing hands over them. It's simple. You stake some money and I ask you a riddle. If you give the right answer quick enough, I'll double your money. If you're wrong, the coins go to me. What do you say? I am intrigued. Ask me your riddle. First, you have to put up your money. How much do you care to wager? Remember, you're starting to double it if your wits are quick enough. Done. Now remember, you'll have to answer quick. I won't give you long with real money at stake. Are you ready? Yes, let me hear your riddle. My life can be measured in hours. I serve by being devoured. Thin I am quick, fat I am slow, wind is my foe. What am I? Oh, right you are. You're a smart one. Give me a chance to win it back, eh? What do you say to double or nothing on another try? Enough riddles for now. I will take my coins and depart. aren't you? Sorry, you think I'd notice an elf walking into the Prancing Pony? I guess I've had my head in the clouds today. You must pardon my saying so, but you seem troubled. Oh no, it, it's no trouble. Not really. It's more like, well, I'm in love. Surely that is a good thing. Tell me, who is it that you love? It's Idona Bellflower, my childhood sweetheart. I always thought we were meant for each other, but her father doesn't like my prospects. He's arranging a match with the blacksmith, Elman Brushwood. A father's wishes are not to be set aside lightly. But what of Idona? Does she love you as well? That's just it. I'm not sure. I always told her how much I loved her when we were children. It was all a game back then. Then we got older and we got so much harder to say. If you love her, tell her so. I want to tell her. I do. Look, this locket belonged to my mother. I want to give it to Idona as a token of my love. But the chain is broken, and Elman the blacksmith is the only one in town who can fix it. If I take it to him, he's sure to suspect something and turn me away. A simple matter. Let me take it to him. Yes, that might work. Elman would never suspect a stranger like you. There's one more thing. Idona's father. He keeps a careful eye on his daughter and won't give me a moment alone with her. I will take her the locket and your words. Wonderful! <laughs> Just perfect! Take the locket to Elman at the smithy across the street. Once it's repaired, bring it to Idona and tell her... Tell her I love her, and that I'll do everything in my power to make her happy every day we are together. Very well. I will tell her. And just one more thing. After you talk to her, could you come back and tell me what she said? One way or another, I have to know. Certainly. I will bring you her answer. These people seem to have no notion of the dangers that threaten them.
Welcome to Bree. You're a stranger around here. May I ask you a few questions? Questions? Concerning what? We hear a lot of talk from travelers these days. Most of them speak of war and of a growing shadow in the east. The townsfolk just dismiss this. Say it's far away and doesn't concern us. But I'm not so sure. You've traveled. Maybe seen a few things. What's your opinion? Should we be worried? There is much to worry about, and the danger is not far off. I was afraid of that. If only I could convince others. But until then, I will have to take action on my own. What do you intend to do? I'd like to arrange for arming the town. We'll need more than pitchforks if we're forced to defend ourselves. I tried to convince a dwarven merchant to bring us weapons, but he refused. Perhaps I should talk to this dwarf. It's worth a try. His name is Groff. He's selling his wares from a market stall down the street. You might still find him there. I shall speak with him and return with his answer. me if it isn't an elf maid right here in my inn. And pretty as a flower and all. It's been ages and ages since we had anyone like you in the prancing pony. It's an honour. That's what it is. An honour. Plain and simple. I've oh, but listen to me prattle on. What can I do for you, lady? What news do travellers bring of late? Lately, the talk's mostly about trouble away to the south. Seems like there may be war or some other calamity brewing down there. Folks have been coming up the Greenway or the old road from the south looking for a place to find some peace. Are they settling here in the Breelands? Well, no. It's not that we aren't sympathetic to their troubles. It's just that Bree belongs to Bree folk. We can't take in a lot of outsiders. And the truth is, I don't like the look of a lot of these newcomers. Some of them have mischief on their minds. Thank you, and farewell. an elf to my shop. Surely you don't need old Elman to set your equipment to rights. I thought you elves could conjure up magical swords with a snap of your fingers. At least according to the stories I was told is a lad. I am sorry to disappoint you, but such tales are greatly exaggerated. Guess I knew that. But there's no denying your kind makes some wonderful things. There's a hobbit here in town. Adelgar Old Bank. He's gotten hold of the odd piece of elven handiwork now and again, and, well, let's just say, I'd relish the chance to watch an elf smith at work. Back again. What can I do for you? I would like to have this locket repaired. Are you able to do the work? Let's see it. Hmm. Looks like something might have been made in these parts. Maybe back in my old dad's day. Wouldn't expect one of your kind to have something like this. Where'd you come by? You are correct. It is Bree work. I am having it repaired as a favor to a friend. I see. Well, it couldn't be simpler. I'll just add another link. And it won't cost you but a single silver penny. There you are. 
good as new. I thank you. Farewell, Smith. in the way of art or gardens in Brie. I wonder if the towns of men are always so dismal. Well, bless me. If it isn't an elf walking right into my shop like something from an old tale. Welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? I hope you have a trinket or two you would be willing to sell. Nothing as wonderful as elf-made goods. Sounds good, but uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to hurt no one. Not real bad, anyway. You think they care about you? I say take what you want and the rest be damned. Well, what do you want, Elf? This is a private conversation. Tell me, what were you discussing? I don't see how that's any of your affair. Clear off. I was just curious. It sounded a bit... suspicious. You mind your own business, eh? Those who go sticking their nose in where it doesn't belong are likely to get it cut off. Do you mean to threaten me, Breelander? Oh, he isn't a Breelander. He comes from down south. He just showed up a week or two ago. <laughs> Gone. Fools who can't keep their mouth shut are no use to us, Bramble. you fool yet you would befriend him i don't like being called names i've had enough of being called fool by folks around here small wonder it is sue stay here with the rest of them then but things will be changing around here you mark my words i mistrust that one what did he want of you well uh i'm not really sure he said there'd be changes round here soon, and those smart enough to join up with his friends would end up running things. He means no good to Bree, or to you. You would do well to avoid men like that. Aye, you're right. Folks here may not treat me the way I like all the time, but it's still my town. I shouldn't go siding with strangers. That is the wise path. Farewell, Harley Bramble. Well now, if you don't mind my saying so, you don't look much like a Breelander. Is there something I can do for you? I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? What sort of favor? These people have need of arms. Will you bring a supply of weapons for trade? <laughs> You're pulling my beard. Weapons for these folk? They wouldn't know which end of the sword to hang on to. I might as well try selling shoes to hobbits. The days of peace and comfort may soon be past for Bree. They must be prepared should danger come upon them. I'll not deny times are growing dark. There's trouble all around. But you'll never get these folks to believe it. Life's been too easy for them for too long. Not everyone is blind to the growing threat. 
It was one of the townsmen who sent me to ask this of you. There are others who are worried as well. It'll take more than a few sensible folk to make it worth my time. These people are simple and peace-loving. It's plowshares they want, not swords. They will learn quickly should trouble come their way. Surely you do not wish to leave them defenseless in their need. Hmm. You're right, of course. Maybe it's not such a bad idea after all. At least I'd have no competition. All right, I'll do it. You have made the right choice. The brief oath will thank you, as do I. Farewell. Hello, is there something I can do for you? Rowley Appledore wishes me to present a gift. A gift? From Rowley? But I thought... Th that is he... I I'm sorry, it's, it's just so unexpected. What is this gift? This locket, which once belonged to his mother. Oh, it's beautiful. But I don't understand. Why is he giving me this now? He also wished me to tell you how deeply he loves you. Rowley loves me? Still? We were so close when we were children, but I thought he had forgotten all that. No, he remembers, and it means everything to him. But this is wonderful news. Wonderful. Rowley's always had my heart. Always. The poor, simple, wonderful fool. He is awaiting your answer. What should I tell him? Oh, please tell him I love him, and that we will find a way to be together always. A pleasant message to bear. Farewell, Idona. You're back! Did you speak to Idona? What did she say? I'm dying to know. Rejoice. She loves you. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful! I can't thank you enough, my friend. I have but, but... Wait, hang on. Oh, I completely forgot. Edmund must have charged you something for that repair. I owe you for that and for your trouble. Here, take what I have. I wish it could be more. Thank you, and good luck to you both. Did you speak with Groth? What did he say? Will he bring us weapons? I was able to convince him. You will have your arms. Excellent. My only concern now is the time it will take. What if we need to defend the town before the dwarf made goods arrive? Maybe you could help me with that as well. How so? I can tell by your gear that you are no stranger to a fight. If you should have occasion to, well, let's say, recover any weapons you don't need, bring them to me and I will pay you for them. I will bear that in mind. Farewell.
This is Fornost, yet I see no sign of the enemy. These ruins could hide a large army. We might even now be under the gaze of unfriendly eyes. Well, we came to provide a distraction for Aragorn, and what better way to do that than walking in the front door? Let's be about it. Creatures! This will prove useful. so much time on the ground. By my beard, that was a close one. Appreciated, friend. Can't take much more. Won't last much longer. On your guard! There are yet more of them! Feel the wrath of the Eldar! 
I need. The gate has opened. Beautiful and useful as well. This will prove useful.
I have a good use for this. Here is something I can make use of. Just what I needed. Is everyone unhurt? These ruins are not sound. We must find a way out of these pits. Anon Adron the Island. Take this. These goblins are small, but deadly all the same. This has the power to heal. Oh, you're close between the hammer and anvil now! Shield us from their arrows and bolts. Now I'm getting mad. Take much 
creature could be making those cries. Just yet, Lord Master. We have need of you. Sorry to put you to that bother, my friend.
I thank you, friends. Without your timely arrival, my death would have been slow, but certain. We are pleased to be of service. No one should be left to suffer at the hands of the goblins. May we know your name? I am called Bellaram. My home is in the Misty Mountains, and I serve Gwaihir, Lord of Eagles. Who is it I have to thank for my rescue? I am Andriel, and I belong to the household of Elrond Half-Elven, the Lord of Imladris. My companions are Farin and Aradan. Then I am indebted to you, Andriel of Imladris, and to your friends. What brought you here to Fornost? I often range far across the lands of the north, gathering news for Gwaihir, my lord. When I saw activity here in long-abandoned Fornost, I grew curious and flew lower to investigate. What did you see? Goblins and other foul folk are working within the ruins. They appear to be preparing for war, building siege engines and stockpiling arms. Were you able to determine who it is that leads this force? I saw a tall man, heavily armored. The goblins obeyed his commands. Who he is, I cannot say, but he had an aura of menace, like one tainted by the shadow. That can only be Agandaur. You know this man? He is a servant of the Dark Lord. We must find him, and destroy him if we are able. I will assist you, but it will be perilous. The enemy has positioned war machines upon the inner wall. They limit my ability to fly freely. If we could reach the top of the wall, we might be able to destroy the machines. Beyond those doors, you will find a passage and stairs leading up to the wall. Those machines are certain to be well guarded. We could be walking into a trap. I will take to the air and draw their fire. If we are fortunate, that will allow you to gain the top of the wall unobserved. Very well. Let us begin. The very thing I need. gather this.
We've reached the top of the wall. Now to find and destroy the war machines. And quickly. Bellarom is in danger. Mind the edge. It's a long way down. machines we seek. Opportunity to call on Bellarom's aid.
the wall is clear. Well done. I am free to fly unhindered. But there are others fighting in the city. They may need our help. Could it be Elrond's sons? I cannot say. But they move with stealth, and they leave a trail of slain enemies in their wake. That sounds like Eladan and Elro here on both accounts. They are likely heading for the Citadel, just as we are. Then let's push on. Maybe we'll meet up with them. I will shadow your movements from above. In open ground, I can strike against our foes. Call on me when the need is great. I'm not doing anything wrong. Honest, I'm not. Back again. Welcome. I think more folks are starting to believe the dangers I warned of are real. But it's no wonder, really. What with the Black Riders appearing on our streets and attempted murder right here in the inn. Black Riders entered Bree? Yes, but Barleyman can probably tell you more than I. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Prancing Pony. What can I do for you? What has become of Strider? He left town with a party of Shire Hobbits that came in just after you left. Seemed like an odd pairing, if you don't mind my saying so. They were strange folk, these Hobbits. Strange? In what way? Well, for one, they seemed to be in some sort of trouble. Even before they showed up, we had this... This black-cloaked rider come round asking after hobbits from the Shire. He put a chill into my veins, that one he did. Oh. A black rider? What became of him? I can't say for certain, but more of them turned up after the first. They came into the town the same night as the hobbits. It was fortunate your friend Strider kept them hidden that night. Not long after, five of them broke down the gates and rode through the town, howling like a storm. Last anyone saw, they were travelling east. Thank you, and farewell. Welcome! What?
Welcome. What can... Welcome! What? Look there! It's Elidan and Elro here! Ah! The Elf Twins can give us a hand! Let me gather this. We must find a way past this gate. It's good to have an eagle on your side. Value your life! This has the power to heal. I will take this.
This will prove useful. use for this. sisters here. To battle! Our Elbereth Githoniel! The big man can't be stopped! were meant to have long lives. Many thanks. Onward now. something I can make use of.
patrol! Be careful! Someone's coming. Besting a troll in combat? That is no small feat, friends. It would appear that we are on the same side. Perhaps we could be of assistance to each other. Allow us to offer a hand. Andriel, is that you? Well met, my friends. We were told we might find you here. I am truly glad to see you. Allow me to introduce my companions, Eridan of the Dunedain and Farin of Erebor. I present to you Eladan and Elrohir, the sons of Elrond Half-Elven. It is a pleasure to make the acquaintance of such skilled and courageous warriors. Was it the three of you, then, who freed the Great Eagle? Yes, Belarom is his name. That was well done. But what brings you to Fornost? We are here at the request of Aragorn. But why would Aragorn send you to Fornost? Has he learned of the goblin force gathered here? It's bigger than just a gathering of goblins. We were with the rangers at Sarn Ford when we were attacked by Black Riders out of Mordor. That is grim news. But it does not explain why Aragorn would send you here. The Black Riders are in league with a man called Agandar. It is he who commands this force. I begin to understand. Aragorn wishes you to distract Agandar. Aye, you've got the right of it. But now that we have joined forces, we can do more than distract him. 
Let us cut the head from this serpent of Sauron. Agreed. But first, we must find him. He is certain to be in the citadel at the heart of the city. We must attempt to make our way there. No easy task amid these crumbling ruins, and a host of orcs and goblins will seek to bar our way. If we are separated, press on toward the citadel. There we will regroup for our final attack. Very well. Let us begin. Follow us! Stay close to us! They have a mounted crossbow! Take cover! We will take care of the machine! Goblins, attack! Just what I needed. Feel the wrath of the, the ruins are a maze of streets and pathways. We will search this way while you three try another route. We will meet at the Citadel, if not before.
gate. I cannot take much more. Here is something I can make use of. What is that sound? What manner of creatures are these? Can they actually be so enamored of the darkness that they would willingly destroy themselves to strike at their enemies? This is troubling. Just what I needed. around the corner. them. Beware! They have a powerful war machine! They use dark magic to shield themselves. We must close with them! Our Elbereth Githoniel! There is a lever here. I need healing. There is a lever here.
This gate jammed. It'll take a while to get it open. Oh, your God! There are yet more of them! Hold on. We'll need to work together. We strike as one. is open. The gate closed behind us. We're trapped. There's a lever up there, but I don't see a way to reach it. They found us again. Here they come! We strike as one. Fall before me. These creatures are more formidable than those we faced before. Back on your 
defeat that. We need healing. We have an enemy to defeat. you farther along the way. More bowmen. This has the power to heal. On the tower. It's blasting powder. Stand and fight together! your help to win this battle i was sure i'd met my end it's good to be wrong that's closer to death than i care to be There is a lever here. Our path is now clear. this.
They've locked us between two gates. We can turn their own weapon against them. They're coming right for us. Cut them down. We strike as one.
We strike as one. to defeat. Much appreciated, friend.
almost up ahead. We're not there yet. Stay close. This is just what I wanted. Beware! They have a powerful war machine! I am close to death! <laughs> Don't leave us just yet, Lormaster. We have need Elbereth, of you. that was a close call. There are more by the wall! Ha! Ah, they won't have the advantage for long. Bring down the fire bearers first. Strike as one! No power. The very thing I need. Up with you. We need your help. Thanks, my friend. I'm in your debt. Let me gather this. Just what I needed. Archers above us! Reinforcements! They're coming right at us! Hold them! I must have aid! I thought elves were meant to have long lives! That was closer to death than I care to be. This would prove useful. Once they're strong as fire, take him down! I will take this.
much more. Let us continue on. This bloom is beautiful, and useful as well. Agandawa must be within, and that is where we must go. by a powerful magic ward. Can you break the spell? Perhaps, but it will take time and concentration. You had best get started. We will guard you while you work. Let's go! 
Dan and Elro here are under attack. Aid them. the troll. We can't let it reach Eladon and Elro here. This would be a good time to call on Bellaram. Retreating! There. The ward has been removed. Come quickly! The doors are open! Here we must separate for a time, my friends, for I cannot follow you within those narrow halls. Will you depart for your home, Bellaram? No, lady. It would be faithless of me to say farewell while friends' lives yet hang in the balance. I will await your return. It may be that I can prevent reinforcements from following you into the tower. We'd best hurry. The elves are getting ahead of us. May fortune favor you all. We've reached the Citadel. I'd say we've been a pretty good distraction. Tread carefully. We have no idea what to expect.
with us. Over here. What is happening out there? Invaders. How many? Not many, but they freed the eagle. Fools. Now our presence here will be revealed. Is this the best your rabble can do? They must be great warriors. Bloody-handed elves. Or some of those filthy tarts. I don't care. Find them and kill them. Call out your guards. Don't let them escape. Call my guard and be quick about it! Kill the intruders! Hold on, we'll help you! No, we must not allow Agandar time to escape. Go on! We will deal with his guards. The big one is Thazor, the chieftain of the Orcs of Mount Grand. Chieftain, huh? Good. I'm tired of dealing with lackeys.
captain of the Orcs of Mount Grant. Chieftain, huh? Good. I'm tired of dealing with lackeys. That's one orc chief, the less. Let us finish his followers as well. Eridan needs our aid. Back on your feet, laddie. We need your help. Many thanks. Let's get back to it. That finishes the lot of them! Quickly, we must follow after Eladan and Elro here. They may need our aid. should have fled Middle-earth with the rest of your cowardly kin. Why, you still had the chance. We sleep from nothing, least of all you, lackey of Sauron. Ah! Fools! I am the right hand of Sauron. I will see your precious Rivendell burning, and your mongrel father hauled before me in chains. You will do nothing. Your plots end here. My work is only just beginning. Do you think you two alone can hope to stop me? They are not alone. Don't look for your guards. They won't be coming. Fornos means nothing. You haven't won anything here. He's escaping. We cannot hope to follow him now. But I can. Sorcery of Sauron! This is no natural 
storm. Uh, I can no longer see him. It is no use. He has escaped us for now. Yes, but you cannot be blamed. It was bold of you to go after him alone. Indeed, though perhaps it was not the wisest course. He summoned a storm. How can a mortal man wield such power? Sauron is a master of dark sorcery. He has taught these arts to mortals before. It may be that Agandar learned at the hand of the Dark Lord himself. It is not Agandar alone. We battled orcs in the ruins below that cast spells against us. I have fought many orcs in my time, but never any that use sorcery. Until now. This could mean Agandar has passed his knowledge on to others. Even to the orcs. That would be a great evil, even for one such as he. What was that beast he rode upon? I cannot say. I have never seen nor heard of its like before today. Nor have I. Perhaps the Dark Lord has bred these creatures as a challenge to my folk. I can only wonder how many of these beasts he has placed at Agandar's command. If only we could have put an end to him. I fear the evil he may yet do. But what now? Where do we go from here? For my part, I would gladly join in the hunt for Agandar. Yet, I have my duty to consider. I must return home to inform Lord Gwaihir of all I have learned here. Who is this Gwaihir you speak of? He is the Lord of the Eagles of the Misty Mountains. I am surprised you do not know his name, for he is deep in the councils of Elrond, your lord. But perhaps you know him only as the Lord of Eagles. Ah, of course, Gwaihir the Windlord. I have heard his name in many tales. As his vassal, I am duty-bound to return to him. He must be informed of everything I have learned here. Your duty to your people must come first. Good luck to you, Belarom. Yes. Farewell, wherever you fare. Till your Aerie receives you at your journey's end. My thanks! Commend me to Elrond, your father! And farewell. As for us, I believe we also have a duty to inform our allies of all we have learned. It was Halbarad the Ranger that sent us to find Aragorn. He'd be interested in what we've learned, no doubt. We'd best return to him at Sarnford. Agreed. For I, at least, am still under Halbarad's command. Should you find Halbarad has no pressing need of your services, I would urge you to make your way to Imladris. We may have need of your strength and resourcefulness before long. My friends may not know the name of Imladris. Ah, your pardon. You know it better as Rivendell. What of the orcs and goblins still here at Fornost? Should we not deal with them? Goblins are only a threat when they have a strong leader to drive them on. With their chieftain slain and Agandar fled, those few who remain in Fornost will soon fall to squabbling among themselves. And we may find more important tasks awaiting us elsewhere. But what of Aragorn and the hobbit he was seeking? The Black Riders may well be pursuing them. Should we not try to help him? If Aragorn has found this hobbit, it is certain they will both be bound for Imlantris. He is several days ahead of us now. We shall look for him as we go, but Aragorn is resourceful. I suspect he will arrive at Imladris before we do. Very well. We will depart for San Ford. Farewell, my friends. I have received word through the Sons of Elrond and the Wandering Companies telling of your valor at Fornost. You are to be commended for your skill and daring. If 
we are fortunate, we may have thrown Agandar's plans into disarray for a time. But what has passed here since we left to find Aragorn? All has been quiet. There was an alarm sounded at Buckland shortly after we parted company, but it seems to have amounted to nothing. We had yet to make account of the dead the night you sent us to Aragorn, but I had hoped there would be more survivors. Some few are away patrolling the borders of the Shire, for even now we must attend to our duty. But sadly, many of those who were wounded in the attack died within days from some evil ailment. Even those whose wounds seemed minor. Perhaps Solana can tell you more. Have you heard anything of Aragorn? He was urgently seeking a certain halfling when we parted at Bree. All I know is that Aragorn is rumored to have left Bree in the company of four hobbits of the Shire. I can only assume one of them is the hobbit he was seeking, and that they are now bound for Rivendell. There is worse news, however. On the night before they departed, the Prancing Pony Inn came under attack by unknown assailants. We have returned to offer you our service. How may we best do that? Truthfully, I would be happy for the extra hands. But it is clear to me that you three have a greater destiny. You may be needed more urgently elsewhere. Then what would you have us do? I advise you to make your way to Rivendell. Aragorn will be eager to hear news of Agendaur, and he may have other tasks for you to perform. For now, the enemy seems to have turned away from the Shire. These Black Riders, the Nazgul, they have traveled far from Mordor. It seems strange they would make such a journey merely to attack the land of the Halflings. Do you have any idea why they have come? I do know why they are here, but it is not for me to pass that knowledge on to others. Perhaps Aragorn or Elrond will tell you more when you reach Rivendell. Yes, it will be good to be home once again. Yet it is a long journey from here to Imladris. We had best begin. Perhaps there is something you can do for me on your way. You have but to name it. I sent two of my rangers, Kilaren and Lewin, on patrol along the Brandywine River. They should have returned long before now. I am growing concerned for them. They are both seasoned rangers who have served many years in this region. We can be certain they have not simply lost their way. From which direction would they be returning? They were to follow the Brandywine north as far as the Great East Road, and from there to make their way back by passing through the Barrow Downs. The Downs are just north of our position here. Then we'll make our way north by way of the Barrow Downs. Perhaps we will discover some trace of them as we travel. You have my thanks. Eridan has great skill as a tracker. If Lewin and Kalaran made it as far as the Downs, he will likely pick up their trail. Farewell and safe travels to you all. Lewin and Kalaran are much on my mind. I would be glad if you would search for signs of them as you make your way north. many tales of the Barrow Downs. What do you know of them? A stretch of hills covered with standing stones and ancient tombs. Many of the ancestors of the Dunedain are buried there. The place has an evil name, but I have traveled there in the past without incident. Things may be different now. Be on your guard. Farewell, Halbrad. You're soon to be off again, are you? Well, I have a few things among our supplies that may help you on your way. Perhaps a few extra arrows for your quiver, and a few of Solana's healing drops may come in very handy as well. Take a look. Will you first share your thoughts about what happened here? The attack of the Black Riders? Ah, well... I've seen many things in my day. Evil in many forms. But I've never seen anything like we faced that day. So many lost. It's hard for an old man to see so many younger men slain. I wish I could... Well, there's nothing to be gained from wishing.
Welcome back, Loremaster. I'll admit I didn't expect to see you here again. I thought perhaps you'd seek the safety of Rivendell, if anywhere can be said to be safe in these times. It's good to see you haven't left us. I assure you that I have no intention of abandoning our cause. I remember well the ancient alliance between the Elves and the Dunedain, and I will honor it till the end. Yes, I know you will. You'll have to forgive me for doubting. Everything has seemed so grim and bleak since the Black Riders attacked. It's been easy to think the worst. Are you hurt? You look well enough to me. If it's healing drafts you need, you can get them from Maradon. I have a dying man on my hands. Perhaps I can help. What is wrong with him? Wrong? I don't really know. His wound is minor, yet his life is slipping away. I fear he is suffering from the Black Breath. What can you tell me of this Black Breath? It is some power wielded by the Black Riders, the Nine Nazgul. Their victims are stricken senseless, and without aid, they soon die. I've already lost three men to this curse. Eleron is the only victim who yet lives. Then let us provide that aid. What can we do? <sighs> I hardly know. Drawing an arrow, stitching a wound. These things I have done countless times. But the Black Breath is something I know only from the old rhymes my teacher taught me. There is often wisdom in old rhymes. Can you recall the words? <sighs> it was years ago. <sighs> let me think. I believe it ran something like this. When the black breath blows, and death's shadow grows, and all lights pass, come Athalus, come Athalus, life to the dying. <sighs> That's all I can recall. What is this Athalus the rhyme speaks of? An herb, commonly known as king's foil. It has little medicinal use. Though some find it comforting for headaches and other small complaints. Perhaps there is more virtue in a Thalus than you know. Have you any of this herb? No, I have none. You'll have to forgive me for neglecting to lay up a supply. But you see no one bothered to tell me that the Nine Ring Wraiths would rise up from ancient legends to trouble us here. If I had a Thalus, don't you think I would have used it by now? Does Athalus grow in these regions? I would be willing to go in search of it. Perhaps you could find some at that. The plant is not native to Middle-earth. It was brought to these shores from lost Numenor, and planted in the lands where our ancestors used to dwell, including the Borrow Dans to the north. How will I know Athalus should I come across it? The plant has many long, smooth leaves, but you might best find it by its scent, a sweet, pungent fragrance. The Burrow Downs hold precious few such plants. My road leads to the Burrow Downs. Should I find a Thalus growing there, I will return with a the supply. 